Hi everyone, it's Crafty Mom with Three Sets of Twins. I just want to thank you for coming to my channel and watching me make some crafts. I hope you're having a great day. You just grab a cup of coffee, maybe some hot tea or iced tea, and just sit back and enjoy. If you would like to subscribe, like, or even make a comment, I would be welcome to that. So you share it with your family and friends. I'd love that too. And let's get started. Okay, I got the Dollar Tree Valentine sign. I'm going to take the little ribbon hanger off the back. And then I'm going to use my heat tool to get the little Valentine sign off of the front. And then it just pops right off. Thank goodness. I'm gonna sand the little pieces so it's a little bit smoother because some of the paper is still on there. And that sander I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to paint with my Waverly chalk paint in red. And then I'm going to use my heat tool to dry it so I can do a second coat. Using my heat tool again just to get it dry so I can work on it. And excuse the cat in the background. He really likes to uh, get in the sink. Then I bring out all my other red paints because I wanted to do some, I guess, different variants of the red color. I got this wildflowers from Dollar Tree and some ribbon, the gingham, black and white check. I am going to just tie a bow around it, make it simple and elegant. Just something sweet. And you can use this year round because I'm not putting like any Valentine on it. It's also one in the morning, so if you guys hear me, I'm really tired, I guess. So I'm tying the bow, just something simple and quick. I'm just gonna dab some glue to keep it in place. I put, a, I put another little ribbon across it just to have another color of the same thing. You know, I'm just going to tack some glue down to make sure it doesn't like loosen up and so that it looks straight. Now I'm just going to take some of the flowers and put them on top of the heart. I just wanted something really simple, elegant, and just pretty that you could actually keep up year round if you wanted to. And I really like the way this turned out. And I'm gonna glue it down the flowers so that they don't fall out.
Sorry, I needed to get scissors. I'm going to cut the ribbons. I'm just going to cut them at, a, at an angle. And there it is. Isn't it pretty? It's just something simple. It would look good hanging anywhere. In your kitchen, in your bathroom, in your living room. You can even put it on your front door. I'm using the same little jute string that came with it. I love that they just make it so you could pull that little tab out and stick it right back in. Dollar Tree always makes it simple for us if we want it simple. So it just pushes right in and there you have it. Simple, pretty, elegant. My next DIY is a wood. I actually put the flowers all the way around. I've glued them. They were hard to glue because they were thick. And so I had to like put a lot of glue and hold it down. I'm now using the ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree. It's a little bit out of focus. I'm sorry about that, but I painted it twice. And now I have all the flowers or the greenery around it. It took a while to get all the greenery up, uh, all the greenery the right way because it was really like thick. I'm making a bow, even though it's out of focus. I'm making a bow with the Dollar Tree bows, with the Dollar Tree ribbon, sorry. Sorry about the focus. I probably wasn't paying attention to my camera. But you will see it in the end. Um, the ribbon is like the jute with the lace in the middle. It's really pretty. I'm probably gluing that right now, which you can't see. But you will see in the end, Jeez, I'm sorry guys, it was a rough night to say the least. Now I'm taking a little bit of the wire so we can have something to hang it with. I'm winding it around a pencil to give it that spiral look. And there you could see it, it was wound around the pencil and it's wire and it's going to give it that spiral look, which I think looks really cool. I'm putting it through the holes that were already there and I'm just bending it to the back. I didn't even glue it. I just bent it 
twisted it so I, nobody would hurt their fingers. Like it would stick into your finger and cut it. So just put it through the hole and you can bend it. And there you have it. There's the wire holder. And there is the little bow at the bottom. There it is. Final picture of it. I think it turned out beautiful. So these are my two hearts. They're my farmhouse hearts. You can use them year-round and just have fun with them. Have a great day. Bye.